everybody, I'm Zaria, the founding designer at Create. Today I'm going to show you how to make a landing page just like this one, only using natural language, no coding required. So as a reminder, Create is the AI-powered app builder that lets you code in English. So what does that mean exactly? Basically, it means that all of the projects in Create are full React code, code that you can copy, code that you can export. However, you don't need to know how to code to use Create. Everything is done just in natural language. So I know I said English, but it also works in Japanese, Spanish, German, whatever language you speak, you can use in Create. So I'm going to start off by just going through how I made this page, and then we can make something from scratch that looks just like it. So this is the project in Create. So you can see the prompt here. Basically, I just have a background video. I have header, that's right here. I have a subtitle right here. And then this is a component. Component is a really awesome feature in Create where you're essentially able to take a smaller component and reuse it across multiple projects. So I'm actually gonna link this component below so you're able to use it in your project and you don't have to create it from scratch, but you can just take this one and put it in the landing page that you make. So, in addition to this project spec, we also have this design tab. So if I click on different elements, I'm able to see the font, I'm able to see the color, and I'm able to make a lot of instant adjustments using this instant design tab. So you can see here we're using the Berio font, and then down here we're using Lado. So there's just a lot of different kind of turnkey, easy changes that you can make using this side panel. So now that we've kind of taken a look about what this project entails, I'm going to go ahead and start something from scratch that you're able to build along with me. So let's go ahead and make a new page. And here in this empty project, let's start off with a background video. So I'm just going to put in background video, and then I'm going to choose a video. So this is a site called Pexels that I highly recommend. They have tons of free video assets, tons of free photo assets. And this is a video that I found that I really like. It kind of has, you know, like an ocean side, seaside energy. I think it's gonna look really fun for a hotel landing page. So to use this video, all you have to do is double click and then just copy the video address. So once I've copied the address, I'm just gonna paste it in here and that's just gonna go in my project. Now I'm gonna add a title. I'm just gonna do something simple like Adventure Awaits and then add a subtitle and we can just do Book Your Trip now. Underneath, I'm going to add in that component that I was talking about earlier. So there's a couple different ways to add components in Create. The first is this add-ons menu where you're able to browse all of your components. The second is being able to search by names with the slash function. So type in slash, then I know it's called vacation date picker. I can then just choose it right there. Then I'm going to generate, which you can use this generate button at the bottom, or you're able to just say command enter and it will go ahead and build our project. Down at the bottom are all of the different AI models that Create offers. So you can kind of go through and see how different models take your prompt. So different models have different strengths. So some are faster, some have more detail, and it's really fun to just be able to kind of parse through them all and see which one you'd like. So um, this one's really cool. And kind of let's choose our favorite and then use that as like a starting point for our project. So I actually like haikus the best, I think. So let's go ahead and start here. And then we're going to play a little bit more with our instant design feature to make this more personalized. So I'm going to start off by just grabbing this title here. Roboto is like a fun font, but not super exciting. So I'm actually going to try Italiana, which I really like, um, and see how that looks. I think that actually looks really fun. Um, and I'm going to bump the size up a little bit. Let's go like 150, maybe too big, 100. Yeah, that kind of feels a little bit more in your face, a little bit more fun. 
Um, and then let's try something here. Let's go with Corona is a fun one. The fonts that you're able to access here are actually all Google fonts. So you can go through and choose your favorite Google font um, and it's all going to be in here. I actually think that is a little too bold. I don't love that. So I'm just gonna change it back here. Really easy to just kind of make simple changes. And I'm just gonna bump this down a little bit. Let's kind of make that 20. Um, and then I am going to adjust the spacing here. Um, here I was able to kind of adjust the spacing by just adding it right in the spec. So I'm gonna do the same thing here and let's see how that looks. I think it's just gonna add a little bit more of a dynamic energy to the page, um, kind of change the boundaries a little bit. So let's take a look at how that looks. Oh, I think that actually looks really nice. I like that a lot. Um, I think it actually might be fun to make this all caps too. So let's go here and try all caps and see how that looks. Awesome. Oh, I think that actually looks very strong. I really like that. Um, the white is maybe kind of hard to read. So let's go back in here and let's mess around with this text color. So here we have a full color picker. So I'm going to go down to kind of maybe a blue. Let's see what a navy looks like. That looks, that looks fun. Maybe a red. Let's see what red looks like a darker red. Hmm. Okay, let's go back with navy. I think navy is very fun. Um, and I'm going to just grab this hex code because I want to make this the exact same color. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab this subtitle and then I can kind of paste that exact same color in there. Um, I think that looks good, but I think we can play with it a little bit more. So let's grab that again, and let's maybe try that red that we were looking at earlier. Um, I think that could be fun. Maybe something like that. I actually like that a lot, kind of like a pale red. Um, and now this page is ready to go. So you can continue to kind of play around with different elements, but I really like how this looks. So here is our final product. So that was really easy to put together um, and it was really fun. You can kind of play with a lot of different elements. And of course you can adapt this page to be your business, your project, whatever it is that you wanna work on. So as always, please join us on Discord. We have a growing community there where you're able to ask questions and you'll also be the first to find out about new releases and different information. Thanks so much for joining. I will see you next time. Bye.